My name is Pete North. I'm a landscape architect and I'm an assistant professor in landscape architecture at the University of Toronto. Pete's a friend of mine and uh, he came out to visit the site here. He actually worked on a project, an art project that we were thinking about installing back here. And for a while I've had an idea of renaturalizing the property and he took that idea one step further with the idea of phytoremediation. So phytoremediation is a process where trees and grasses can filter pollutants and toxins that are found either in stormwater running off the streets or that have moved into the soil and into the, into the water table. So there are specific poplars and specific trees that have the ability to either break down those contaminants or to extract them from the soil. So it's a natural process and it has the ability to clean the site and provide benefits for ecology and habitat creation as well. So ever since we started AYA, one of our principal drivers has been to be sustainable and to pay attention to our natural environment. So we do that in many ways through our product and processes, but this is a very real way that we can have a positive effect on our local environment. The Etobicoke Creek, which we border, is uh, really a wonderful waterway. And one of the things about the uh, Etobicoke Creek is that it feeds into Lake Ontario. And so ultimately, the water quality of the lake is a function of the tributaries that feed into it. So today, we've organized a community planting event. And we are restoring the eastern edge of the Aya Kitchens property. It's important to Aya because they have a beautiful property, a large scale property that's situated along a rail corridor and it's situated along a river corridor that are amazing networks for habitat and ecologies through the city. So the opportunity to expand on that network and to plant native species and to basically make that network larger and more resilient is a really amazing opportunity and uh, it's important for the health of our, of our cities. It's an interesting question how long it will take. We expect to see positive results within a few years but the goal is to have a long-term plan for the project, uh, which we imagine would span decades, not years. And this tree planting that we're doing today, where we're planting 400 trees, is just the first stage and part of what will be a master plan for the property, which will really focus on the whole property and how we can, we can use the property to improve the surrounding uh, environmental conditions. Hi, my name is Eileen. Uh, and um, um, having to plant trees was really nice here in the um, hot sun and uh, I like to plant the willow trees because um, the willow trees are my favorite kind of trees um, and um, it was really nice to work in the community here today. Um,